Hey guys, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I guess it's not good morning anymore, as you see from the intro or heard from the intro. Uh, we had a little bit of a change. Just for fun, um, I thought that we've definitely outgrown the good morning concept, which is basically me crawling out of bed in the morning, coming down and doing a podcast. And um, I, the, I had such a great uh, epiphany when I, I, I saw this uh, title come from a friend on Twitter um chance underscore second please follow him he's a he's a, a illustrator um great great work follow him on there follow him find him on instagram as well uh i would definitely want to give him a plug if you're looking for somebody to draw things uh he is your dude um but he we're having a conversation as we do on there about something and he dropped the idea of sorgonomics i like that idea much like I liked Sorgatron back in the day, um, and now that's become part of an identity. Actually, no, I hated Sorgatron when it first came out. But that's not what this episode is going to be about. We'll get into uh, changes in direction and some other show. We kind of had that a little bit on Friday. Uh, if you checked out the, uh, the the evolution of a show that we had um, over at Sorgatron.com. But for this episode, I wanted to talk about an experience I had over the weekend. I had the very, very fortunate... Uh, very, very much talking right now, podcasting. Yes, I had the fortune to be a part of and uh, run into some people uh, a, a few weeks ago at Filmmakers Pittsburgh and uh, Pittsburgh Filmmakers. And uh, th it was this really cool concept that, that they were telling me about um, called the Sisters Sorella. And what this is, is uh, basically a, a, um, a sitcom play. A play done in the style of a sitcom, um, you know, uh, with, with three tremendous actresses. Uh, it, it, it's monthly. It's playing down at the Arcade Theater. They have actually scheduled out about six episodes that you guys can check out down there. Uh, by the way, our, uh, side note, the Arcade Theater, as a gamer dude like me and, uh, you know, with, uh, uh, you know, insertcoinandbegin.com and everything like that, yeah, it's kind of a cool place. Uh, they have arcades in the lobby and everything. It is an arcade theater. It, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool setup. It's one of those smaller theaters. It's a, it's a comedy theater. Uh, so if you want to check out some good improv or some other stuff, go check out the Arcade Comedy theater just uh you know arcade comedy theater pittsburgh it'll come right up on your google and uh and check that out but these guys um they, it was really really interesting i i, I had a fortune to uh, come down i brought a couple cameras down because they had some video in the past but again it's like you know you know they're doing what they can it's a play that they only have so many resources as anybody in this kind of position and uh we thought we does help spruce it up a little bit so we're gonna be working on that here over the next couple of weeks and we, we brought down a couple of cameras uh courtesy sorgatron media and uh you know maybe we'll have a little more of a sitcom -y feel we're hoping once we get done with this edit but uh basically yeah it's it's a sitcom it's three acts to the point where they even have um commercials they have some great stuff of uh, videos from Hustlebot, uh, which is a Pittsburgh-based improv group um, with a familiar face that I think I worked with back in the day. I'll get into that some other time, perhaps. And uh, and a really, really fun story. And uh, this one is centering around Valentine's Day. Um, the, the interesting part was uh, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the actresses actually has like, legit a broken foot, I guess. Um, and uh, they worked into the story to the point where she had to sit there the entire time, even through the commercials. So they, they had fun with her just reacting to these improv commercials. Um, I am a huge fan of improv. <laughs> I'm a fan of the, uh, you know, uh, what, whose line is it uh, shows, you know, uh, things like that. And, and, you know, like I said, I worked, worked a little bit uh, on, on a project a long, long time ago in another life with uh, some improv improv guys here in the uh, Pittsburgh area and uh, it was really cool to kind of see some improv in person uh, once again and uh, to the point where I thought I was, it's very tight in that theater and I thought I was gonna fall over on the people next to me uh, as I'm holding the camera but uh, it, it, you know again it, it, there, you can see exactly how tight there's an entire three rows in front of me but again a very full packed house here uh, for the sister Sorella um, really, really kind of resounding, you know, feedback from, from everything going on there. Um, but, uh, but this is a definitely a scene that I haven't had much time, 
not to participate in, to visit. Um, I, I, the last play I was able to go to was the, uh, 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 oh, it's escaping my head now. Uh, the one with the puppets. <laughs> Avenue Q, thank you. Thank you, studio audience. Um, it's a monkey on the couch that's stuffed and you fling it at people. That's my audience right now. And, uh, and the Bushwhackers, of course. <laughs> But, uh, no, Avenue Q, which was actually a, a, a presentation by uh, uh, Pitt University Theater Group down there in the, 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 the box, the black stage. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but, no, theater is not something I've gone into here in Pittsburgh. Um, mostly schedule and money has been the issue. Um, and I guess I'm already involved in a sort of theater when we uh, talk about professional wrestling. Um, but this is kind of a, a really cool thing to get into. And, 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 and when I think theater, and this is the other problem that I've had uh, with theater in Pittsburgh. When I think theater in Pittsburgh, I think going down to the Benedum. I think going down to uh, Theater Square and uh, these these uh, shows that I'm going to have to drop $50 a, a pop to do. But there's great small independent stuff like this. I like the indie wrestling. Hey, maybe we should support the indie theaters. And, uh, you know, I guess it's not uh, you know, you have to know where to look to begin with. You have to be into this kind of scene to catch a show like this. And and for me, a great entry point is, hey, here's a theater that looks like an arcade. Hey, here's some comedy. I'm good to go. Uh, so either way, uh, look, looking at this, you know, it, it was something that, you know, really interested me. And, and I'm hearing so many other great concepts uh, coming out of this. I love this to come as a, as a play idea. Um, and, uh, you know, more I got to talking with, uh, you know, these people and and uh, 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 another guy, Bill, that I've been working with lately on some projects. Um, I'm loving the creativity coming out of the area and, and coming around, you know, coming out amongst, you know, people. Uh, uh, around here and uh, it's really cool to see um, you know we always put over Pittsburgh for the technically minded and uh, you know the creatively minded in, in other ways and, and, and theater is just as vibrant I think as anything else around here uh, pro, pro wrestling uh, included you know so now if you're you're new to this you don't know about the pro wrestling stuff you know yes I you know I that's my default is to make a connection to that and uh and I don't think it's too far outside the scope. There's actually, um, you know, a guy that we've had on several times on the wrestling shows, uh, Mike Kingston. He's uh, he's the guy behind Headlocked. A uh, great comic book, great independent comic book. Again, staying with the indie stuff that you uh, that you can find out there is actually portions and, and side stories and artwork by wrestlers like Jerry Lawler, Christopher Daniels. And um, and why is that important to this? Uh, it's... It, it, it shows the connection. Actually, in it, there's a story. Is it's a theater major that leaves his school. He's in the comic book world, equivalent to Juilliard or something. I don't know, um, and uh, leaves to pursue professional wrestling because he sees it as the theater that it is, pl plus physicality. Um, and maybe that's why I'm kind of attracted to this kind of project um, because of my long, long, long eight years standing. Uh, being involved with pro wrestling on the filming side, you know, and being close to it and being close to the development of it, you know, um, at least on this local in indie, you know, this is indie, this is indie making indie theater. And we've been involved with indie wrestling for the longest time uh, around here at Sorgatron Media in our amazing, lush Beachview offices. Uh, so what am I trying to say? Go support theater. First of all, go check out Sister Sorella. Um, have get your tickets because they were full on a Saturday night. They only run two nights for each episode. Um, but in the meantime, go look up Sister Sorella, no name players dot org is their website. Also, you can find them over at youtube.com slash no 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 just look up no name players or sister sorella on youtube and you'll find a video up there of this and other productions that they've done. Which looks like a very interesting a very interesting uh, variety from this and look at some of this stuff anyways um so yeah this is basic sorgonomics and i have not yet thought of a catchphrase in the vein of pan riot sorry will i'm stealing that um but uh but this is going to be the, the 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 new show it, uh, but mostly partially um i'm not always in the morning uh, for once. It's going to be our morning show, but it's mostly, uh, you know, discoveries and thoughts and such uh, of me. We don't have guests on the show. It's it's my kind of monologue of the day to 
get me started and hopefully some of you started for the day. Uh, let me know what you think of the show. Let me know. Uh, go look for, I suppose, I don't know if it's switched over yet, but you should be able to find basic Sorgonomics. Or if there's some legacy uh, out there, uh, you know, you can find Good Morning with Michael Sorg on YouTube and iTunes. Search for Sorgatron Media actually on you on iTunes and uh, you'll find everything that we do. And uh, this, is, this will be interesting for a little bit. There, there it is right there. You can subscribe. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Subscribe to us on iTunes. Or just, you know, hit that little subscriber button on the uh, blog over at Sorgatron.com. Every once in a while, I'll throw something different in there. Last week, we did a Loot Crate unboxing that I did for InsertCoinToBegin.com, technically. Uh, but I threw that on there as well. So uh, you can check out all the variety of stuff and so many more things at SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, until next time, have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.